Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another action figure review. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the Vitruvian Studios Blink female figure from Boss Fight Figures. BossFightShop.com. Check them out. Uh, these things run about 15 bucks for these basic figures. And uh, essentially what these are, are they are three and three quarter inch um, blank female figures. Uh, so it's made for like customizers or if you want to add something to your existing figure line. Uh, these work really well with the, the G.I. Joe line, things like that. Um, Star Wars line, those kinds of things. <clears throat> but uh, again, it's made mostly for customizers. So um, yeah, you've got lots of options with these things. Um, yeah, so uh comes in a nice little small white box here. Uh, the back kind of shows you what and all we come with it. So we've got the standard figure, an alternate set of hands, some alternate feet, the base stand, and some alternate heads to go with this as well. So uh, very cool looking. Um, I did a review of the blank male figure as well, so you can go check that out if you're interested. One of our past videos. Uh, but Boss Fight Studios is very cool. They also did some of the sculpting for the uh, original, well, the 25th anniversary G.I. Joe line. So, um, yeah, they, they kind of know what they're doing with these three and three quarter inch figures. So, uh, very interesting anyways. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. It's got a little piece of tape here on the top. And I apologize if y'all are hearing. Uh, sounds like somebody doing some target practice or something out there. But uh, anyways, pop this thing open. We got the figure inside. Toss the uh, box to the side now. Uh, it does come in a nice poly bag. Um, these are available in a multitude of colors. Uh, I chose the pale pink one simply because that's uh, kind of the standard figure for me. Um, and I kind of planned on using this for some uh, drawing and things like that. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and cut open this uh, poly bag and get the figures out. Go ahead and dump everything out here and we'll take a look at all the accessories and the figure itself. So uh, some very cool looking stuff here. I was really impressed with the, uh, the blank male figure that we had earlier. So I'm expecting very similar results with this particular figure. Uh, as you can see, we've got um, three blank heads, uh, so four counting the one that's on them, uh, two pairs of feet, and uh, an additional set of hands here, plus this uh, very cool looking Boss Fight Studio stand, figure stand. In our previous video, we did uh, look and see, and these things work well with the um, the G.I. Joe figures and those things like that, so they're interchangeable as far as these foot pegs go. Very nice looking. Uh, as far as the extra feet go, it's got a pair of sandals. Very nice looking. Um, so, pair of sandals pair of uh, just kind of standard toeless feet with soles so you know something like a superhero foot or something like that we've got a set of hands that uh, have the um, the rocker thing here on the uh, the side here so that uh, moves back and forth that way so <laughs> and then we got three heads here so let's take a look at the first one uh, kind of a short haircut. They do have this little ball joint inside them. Very cool looking though. Then we've got a, um, a masked figure. Just a kind of a cloth mask kind of thing. Very cool looking. And then we have uh, one with a ponytail. And the ponytail is actually articulated, so it does swing around, uh, but kind of a long hair version here. So very cool looking. Very nice level of detail on these things as well. And 
I guess you can pop that ponytail out. I'm not going to bother with it though. So, uh, anyways, cool looking ponytail. Uh, moving on to the figure itself. Got some decent, well, actually, some really nice detail level here. Um, and again, I apologize. I probably should have went with a different color for the review because this uh, pale pink doesn't really reflect really well with the white background um, and the lights that I have in here, so it kind of blows out some of the detail level. But still, it looks really nice. Some really nice detail all the way around. It's a very nice looking figure here. Um, articulation wise, the head does spin 360 degrees. Got plenty of up and down motion, side to side, head tilts and all that good stuff. Uh, standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. Standard ball and swivel at the elbow joints. Um, swivel and a rocker at the wrist joint. Again, you can change that out for the one that rocks forward and back. Got standard uh, rib cage action going on there. Uh, plenty of ab crunch and ab twist. We also have a uh, twist joint there at the waist, which is kind of hard to get to, but uh, it's there. There we kind of go. So it's there, it works, it's just uh, kind of really tight. So we got plastic T-hooks at the waist and the hips. So we got uh, full front motion, full, well, slightly limited backward motion. Uh, and full side-to-side -side motion, so that's cool. We do get double knee joints there, and it looks like we've got a rocker and uh, what do you call this, uh, the twisty thing <laughs> for the ankle anyway, so I, I don't know what that particular type of articulation is called, but uh, that's really cool. Uh, as far as swapping these things out, you just kind of pop these feet off. You just kind of pull on them and there's the, the peg joint there. Weird, but uh, so then you take like this uh, sandaled foot and you just line up the little peg there with the peg hole there and pop it in place. Uh, I always feel like these things are going to break, so uh, they are plastic, so you do have to be a little careful with them. Uh, the feet are probably the the worst example here. And that's kind of what we saw in the, the male figure as well, is the feet were a little finicky. Uh, hands and things like that work really well. The head pops out pretty easily. But, yeah, that's... Uh, anyway, let's put the regular foot back on there. Uh, sometimes if you heat these up a little bit, they go together a lot easier. And like that one's already kind of been on there, so it pops in there very easily. But uh, like the hand itself, you just kind of pull on it and it kind of just pops off. There we go, like that. And you can swap it out with the other one. They're just really tiny pegs. So be careful of that, but uh, it's not that big a deal. So yeah, a very cool looking figure here. Um, as far as size comparison goes, uh, I have the three and three quarter inch um, 25th anniversary G.I. Joe beachhead figure. So we'll put that side by side so it's the uh, same height basically. <laughs> Can't talk today. And I guess, here we go. So uh, we've got the one of the uh, 25th anniversary, so the G.I. Joe Club.com exclusive uh, Cobra Night Watch, Night Stalker, Shock Troopers. One of the female figures from the, the Cobra line from G.I. Joe. Uh, and you can kind of see here how these things scale together. It's basically the same size here, so these fit in very well with those figures. Um, they may be a little bit... Uh, maybe thicker like in the waist and things like that, but um, overall the scale is pretty much solid here, so yeah. 
So if you're looking for um, to make custom figures and things like that, these are a great choice. I do really like them. They give you a ton of options. Uh, if you go to their Boss Fight Studios store, uh, you can see all the different options there. So you have different colors. You've got different types of figures that you can get from their Vitruvian Hacks line. Very cool looking. And I really do like these things. So uh, I'm giving these a thumbs up. And uh, I do recommend these if you're interested. So... Well, that's all the time we have for today, so thanks for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We try to do uh, new videos a couple of times a week here, so um, if there's something you're very interested in, uh, drop me a comment down below and let me know, and I will do my best to get it out in front of y'all. Um, but yeah, drop some comments down below in general and let me know what you think of this uh, uh, Vitruvian Hacks blank female figure. Have you used any of these figures in the past? If so, you know, what have you made out of them? What do you use them for? How do you use them? Um, which lines do you actually like interchanging these with? Um, I'm a fairly big G.I. Joe guy, so that's typically the ones I deal with, but they also work well with like the Star Wars universe and things like that. So, um, yeah, drop some comments. Let us all know what's going on. So until next time.